Go. Hey, Madsen, can we build those dot structures? I'm gonna draw a molecule, got 16 electrons in the valence shells uh, uh, I'm gonna make a skill structure and complete the octet Walk up to class like what up, we're learning Lewis dots Now I'm just pumped, the new active chem just dropped The questions this week are so tricky, the class like wow We're gonna be busy, drawing on the board to determine the polarity First of the electron, summing up those valence shells, taking into account charges of a molecule should probably use a calculator, otherwise I'll be in crisis. But which atom's in the center? Carbon and oxygen are about to find a least electron negative. Carbon's mother and nucleus has coulombic attraction, connecting the atoms. Wait, man, only use single bonds. Finish the octets, really happy because we're be finished. Counting the electrons, counting the electrons. No, for real, count them up. Do the match where it's supposed to be? No. Nope. There's 20 and we need 16. Too many electrons, where are we gonna put them? We had two lone pairs, we made two double bonds. All octets are full, we can draw it on the board. Hello, hello, what if we had too few? Place the rest on the central atom. Has to be third row periodic table. The professors ask us, ah, what's the formal charge? I'm gonna draw a molecule, got 16 electrons in the valence shells. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm gonna make a skill of structure and complete the octet. I'm gonna draw a molecule, got 18 electrons in the valence shells. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm gonna make a skill of structure and complete the octet. What you knowin' about finding the best structure? What you knowin' about finding the formal charge? Oh, I'm digging, I'm digging, I'm searching right through the okay. textbook. One man's trash, that's another man's life. Oh, I think a professor for donating this equation. Cause right now I'm up in here struggling. I'm at the library, you can find me in the stacks. I'm not on my stuck and searching through the lecture tab. Your valence, your bonding, your non-bonding gives you charge. I'll take those values, count them up, and plug them in and rock that every time. Move those trusts to get the smallest charge every time. I get the point with 100% ever. Time, they'd be like, oh, is my answer also right? I'm like, yo, that's a resonance structure. Limited edition, let's do some simple addition. We got the same formal charge, that's some chemistry magic. I call that getting two correct answers. I call that getting resonance structures. This unit gives me hope. And being able to answer six other questions in this class also gives me hope. Prep game, come and take a look at my cheat sheet. Think that I'll forget this, man. You know I won't. Man, you know I won't. U of R, Chem 132, yeah. yeah! I'm gonna draw a molecule, got 18 electrons in the valence shells. I, I, I'm gonna make a skeletal structure and complete the octet. Lewis dot structures, look at the valence shells. Set up the structure right, complete the octet, count the bonds. Lewis dot structure. Oh yeah. Look at the valence shell. Like, come on, man. Set up the structure right. Complete the octet. Count the bonds. I'm gonna, gonna draw a cube. Got eight electrons in the valence shells. I, I, I'm gonna make a skeletal structure and complete the octet. Is this your lab coat?